Good morning from Rita's Roost and the Quilted Chicken Farm. Well, that one's ready to go to the long arm here in just a few minutes. And I'm going to take it down. And I've got two or three... There's got two or three backs here. I'm a, I'm a kind of wanting to make that really colorful. So I'm thinking about using this red. <laughs> I'm a mess. It's all, I started to cut some of it off and use for the, uh, that outer border. But I think I'm going to put it on the back. And I, you know, I have a long arm machine up at another house. And I'm going to take this up there and that up there after a while. It's because it's a nasty day here. And it fell on the floor, but that's okay. I'll pick it up when I get through talking. <laughs> I won't talk very long. And what was I going to say? Oh, I'll take that up there. And I'm going to take it down right now. I still haven't measured it, but it's a pretty good size top. Let me take let me take it down. Let's see. Chairs on some of my cords here. I moved I moved Maybadine kind of back out of the way, and I'm going to use this machine if when I sew down here for a little while. Let me get this off the wall. And my husband put them pins up there in it. I'll have to see if I can reach it, cause I'm short and he's tall. He can reach further than I can. I'll see if I can get them. Don't laugh at my backside. Ugh. Where's the other one? There's one more over there. Put them pants, and I want to get my foot in one of them. Ouch. Stepped on something. What was that? Well, I stepped on one of them that fell on the floor. I need to pick them up. One of my little tacks, I had that. <laughs> Get my clothes adjusted. Here's this top. It's a carination block. And you know, we made one last night in that so long. But that's going, that's going to another place after a while. With that red. Oh, and this is the block that I made last night in our sew along. It's called the Carry Nation Block. And they drew the names for the next one. The next two blocks were gonna, they were the challenge block and there's an easy block. Catch my breath here, I'm talking too fast. I have a bad habit of doing that. When I turn on this camera, I just talk, 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 talk and I get, get too excited and I get to breathing too hard. <laughs> you just calm down. The next two blocks is the card trick is one of them. And the other one is a Crazy House. Now I kind of think I'm going to make the one called Crazy House. And I'll try to post the links to those blocks in the description so you can go look them up before next week and kind of study them and, and get to thinking what you're going to do. But for now, I'm going to put this in on my wall. There's my first one. We're going to do 20 of them to make a nice size quilt. But in between time, I'm going to, down here at this house, I'm going to go back to working on my chickens with bonnets. So they're going to go back on the wall. Now they don't go with that one. Oh, this chicken, she's kind of bald-headed. She needs her bonnet. This one's, this one's done. I can hang her up there. Let's put her over here. I got this one. I got a few of them done before I changed and did something else. Let me stand up. I'm going to put them up there. That, that one does. She's not got her last sewing. I'm going to leave her down. I'm going to sew her in a little bit. That one needs her bonnet. Well, I don't have a whole lot of them done, so but I've got my stuff here, so that's what I'm going to work on. But I'll tell you, real quick, real quick, I'll sew this one. Well, I think, well, I said I would. I thought I was all ready, but looky there. I'm just about out of bobbin. So I need to take, go ahead and take that off and wind me a new bobbin. 
I need to get some more bobbins around here and have more than one wound at a time. But I always get sidetracked and do something else and don't, don't, I go off half cock sometimes. Find that little hole. I want to stick that through there. Or maybe I could do this. Sometimes I do, sometimes I do this wrong. All these machines are a little different. See if that's got it. There we go. Bobbins <laughs> scooted that. Sounded funny, didn't it? Make him make it so. And I don't have the haven't gone around the wing on this one, so I need to do that too. Two parts I need to finish on that one. Forget what this. Well, that come out of there. What you do that for? I think I got it wrong. You know that? I think I did it wrong. Maybe it'll be okay. We hope so. Well, it keeps popping off there. Why does it do that? It popped out again. Do y'all have as much trouble as I do? I hope not. What was it? It was Carrie the other day that said her machine, something fell apart on her machine. But Carrie's just learning, but she's going to get it. Let me get this threaded back up here. And I can't use my automatic needle threader. Never, never could get that figured out either. I've been, I've been sewing on the other one, so I've got to get my hands and grabbing the right parts on this one to raise and lower and do things. Could help if I could see. Ever since I had that iritis, I, th this one eye is kind of getting, the cataract's getting worse than it. But I don't want to go have it fixed. I got it. I can just, well, I had it and it fell out. You do that too. Get it in there before you can get your hand in the right place to pull it on through, it falls out. <laughs> now I don't want to spend my whole video time threading the needle. Okay, let me hold it while I grab it. I need some tweezers, don't I? I have some someplace, but like everything else around here, I probably couldn't find them. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set my blanket stitch and I'm going to sew just a little bit, and then I'm going to get off here and go, go do something else. I'm going to load this, this other quilt up and take it up and quilt it. I'm going to have to build me a fire up there today, though. It's just going to be cold and drizzly around here. It's going to be a good day to, to stay in the house and sew. This this machine's got a certain little stitch that that does the does the little applique stitch like around that right there. So, here we go. I enjoy doing this. 
to me it's relaxing. Even my little thread messing up and all that, I don't get too frustrated about it. If I mess up, I don't do too much cussing if I mess up. If I mess up too much, I'll put this project up and start and go back to one that I've had started a long time. <laughs> I've got lots of things started. And if I get mad at one, I can go do another one. And then maybe come back to it. What do they call them unfinished projects? They call them UFOs. Well, I can't tell you how many UFOs I've got. Unfinished objects, unfinished projects. I actually spent a lot of money on the fabric on some of them. Would you guys want me to do a tutorial on the on the crazy house block and the uh, the what was the card trick block? Or we'll just let Mona and and Lisa Awkward Quilter do them. Doesn't matter to me. I'm gonna, I've got a fabric collection that I'm making my whole quilt out of. And I probably will be sewing on the Monday nights that we do the blocks. Cause we're planning on every Monday night having that sew along. How many of y'all are joining? How many of you made the, a block last night? Either, either the Carry Nation or the Tree of Liberty. How many of y'all did that? You'll have to tell me in the comments so I know. And if you haven't made it, are you going to make it? And I'm just taking my, I'm going around some curves, so I'm just kind of easing it around there. Not going too fast when I have to turn. Do I need to name these chickens? Oh, I don't even, they're not even in the picture up there. Poor old chickens, I was gonna put them behind me so you could see them. I'm gonna move them. That's what I'm gonna do. Now, now they're keeping us company. They don't peck me in the head. They might be contrary old setting hands, reckon. You ever had an old setting hand and she'll get on the nest and she won't get off the nest and when you go to get the eggs out from under her, she just kind of goes to ruff, ruffling up her feathers and a, and a squawking, don't want you to bother her. And then if you do put your hand under her, then she wants to peck you. Contrary old setting hand. And have you heard the expression, mad as an old wet setting hand? But if they're sitting and you don't want them to, you need to throw them off the nest and maybe break them, break them from sitting on them eggs. Because because if they sit on them eggs, then then they're gonna hatch. And when they, if if you let them sit there long enough, I'm not making any sense. I know, rattling on here, not saying nothing. I I got around that one. Let me pull that out. I'm gonna clip that thread and kind of make see if it'll pop to the bag. Now. Went around her wing, and all the on this quilt, all the wings are this red fabric, and it's got little hearts on it. So this this part and this part on mine is going to be the same, and the chicken and the bonnet will all be different, and all the uh, the little beaks are going to be the same. All right, I'm going to go do something else. When I'm here at this house, I'm going to sew on these, but I'm going to go quilt for a little bit. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Have a blessed day.